All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the uh, February edition of Pitch Perfect. We just want to cover a quick um, disclosure on forward looking statements for the event. So for Front Funders, uh, February Pitch Perfect event, this presentation may contain forward looking information. There can be no assurance that forward looking information will prove to be accurate as actual results in future events could differ materially from those anticipated in such statements. Accordingly, viewers should not place undue reliance on forward-looking information. So we're going to be hearing from Boxable. Boxable is a manufacturing company on a mission to lower the cost of home ownership with an instant house that unpacks in less than an hour. So Galliano, over to you to kick things off. Hey guys, thank you so much for having me. And yeah, my name is Galliano. I'm here in uh, Las Vegas in the USA at our house factory, which you can see behind me here. And uh, we are producing houses here every day, but we have uh, a whole bunch of innovations and, and new technology that we think are gonna allow us to uh, mass produce housing on, on a scale that's never been done before. So if you check out the, the Boxable website, um, you'll see that the houses actually fold up. So our first product is kind of a little studio apartment. It's got a kitchen, bathroom, bed and a couch. And that is a uh, 20 feet by 20 feet and it actually folds up to eight and a half feet wide. And, you know, a lot of people notice that, right, you know, when they when they see it and they think, wow, that that's cool. But we do have a, a reason for that. And uh, it's a very important reason. We needed to make the buildings uh, shippable so that they could be highway legal. Because of course, buildings are very big. And uh, we think that's one of the reasons they're not produced in, in a factory. You know, right now you have about 90% of buildings that are just built on site. Everyone's driven by a construction site before. And, uh, you know, uh, if you think about that, it doesn't really make sense because all the modern products, whether it's a, an automobile, uh, television, sneakers, iPhone, they're all built on an assembly line in a factory. And, and the reason is that results in the lowest cost, fastest pr production, highest quality, but it hasn't really worked with housing and you know factory built housing has kind of failed to, to gain market share and one of the big reasons there is they couldn't ship these buildings cost effectively because the buildings are so big they're so expensive to ship that it didn't make sense they would lose all the money that they would save building in the factory back to shipping so at boxable we uh tried to to figure out how can we ship these and and we did it so now we're shipping a, a 20 foot wide building on an eight and a half foot uh, shipping load, and that's a highway legal load, so it doesn't require expensive uh, transport fees and, and follow cars. And, and in fact, we're actually able to get two houses on, on one truck, so pretty good. And uh, that's what's going to open this up and make it possible to, to do everything else we're doing here and hopefully scale production to a massive uh, level that no one's ever done before. You know, if you look at most automobile factories, whether it's a Ford factory or a Tesla factory, uh, these guys are putting out one car per minute in these factories. It's absolutely amazing. It's the best example of, of modern mass production. And we think, you know, all those principles should apply to housing. And we think that they work with our system. So, you know, beyond the little Casita product that we're starting with, we actually have a much bigger plan where we're, we're, we want to have a system of rooms that come in different sizes and different interiors. So maybe you have a kitchen box, a living room box, a bedroom box, and then you can start stacking, connecting those to build basically all, all, all building types. So uh, it's a pretty big play what we're doing here at Boxable. We're thinking, you know, massive, huge um, assembly line, mass production, in you know one of the biggest industries, a multi-trillion dollar industry around the world, and and you know all building types, and we're basically saying we're going to take this whole industry that is incredibly old school, where you still have guys building by hand out on site with literally with hand tools, and we're saying you know we need to transition all of that into a, a boxable factory. So a, a really big upside if if we get it right, and um, you know lots more going on behind the scenes here as well. Uh, uh, above the just the shipping innovation. So we've actually re-engineered the buildings from scratch. We selected all new building materials, all new manufacturing methods. So, you know, most buildings in North America, you're going to see lumber frame. So it's like wood, nails, hammer. Uh, that's not what we're using to build these buildings. We've scoured the earth to find 
uh, better materials that were more compatible with the factory that simplified the design that increased the ratings. So our buildings are outperforming on, on wind ratings, energy ratings. Uh, the structural strength is, is off the charts. Uh, you know, we've come up with what we think is going to be a, a better building that's a, a lower cost, that's faster to set up, and, and that's available. And, you know, we're off to a, a really great start. We got in here, um, you know, about being in production now less than 18 months. Uh, we've now produced hundreds of houses. We basically came from just a, a few guys uh, myself, Paolo and Kyle, the original founders of the company and, and an idea. And we jumped into this 170,000 foot factory that you see behind me and, uh, you know, hired hundreds of people and installed millions of dollars in manufacturing equipment and um, have, have been kind of delivering and, and executing on the plan. And uh, it's, it's been a, a, a really great um, path we've been on so far. We, we do have now a second factory that we just opened up next door. And uh, we were able to deliver in full to our first customer, which ended up being the United States federal government. They ordered you know, about uh, nine, nine million dollars plus worth of housing. So we, we got in, ramped up, delivered on that. Now we're working on other projects for for other customers. Um, but, you know, more uh, more significant than, you know, what we're doing in this building is our, our future plans. And that's for real scaled mass production. And, you know, what what you see here. This is a big factory. It's, it's a big operation, a big undertaking. But in the grand scheme of of the problem and our our solution and housing demands, you know, this is this is very small. Uh, even if we produced, you know, five thousand houses per year here and hundreds of millions in revenue, the market for housing is is absolutely incredible. There's a, you know, everyone knows housing's too expensive. Everyone's heard of of housing shortages all over the world, and something needs to change to, to solve that problem because the old ways of buildings just is not cutting it. So, um, you know, we think of this factory here as kind of proof of concept where we're proving out the basics and making the case for uh, a greater scale. And what we're trying to do next is actually set up a, a $1 billion factory uh, down the street here in the desert in Nevada uh, that would produce tens of thousands of, of houses uh, and really hopefully push the, the cost down to the lowest possible level where we could get in, you know, this large assembly line, you know, this automation, all this bulk purchasing, um, vertical integration of our supply chain, and just do everything possible to push down to, uh, to the product cost as low as it can possibly be. And, you know, we think we're well on our way to, to proving that out. And we think that if we are able to mass produce housing uh, at a lower cost and, and faster than everyone else, that it's pretty much, you know, game over. And at that point, opportunities and resources are going to roll in uh, nonstop and we're going to be able to scale this thing up into an absolute monster. So, um, you know, please check out our social media pages. Everything we've done as a company, we've posted it online since the beginning. So you can get a really good understanding of what we're doing on our YouTube and our Instagram. And uh, maybe we'll just open it up for questions now. Fantastic. Thanks for the, the great pitch there, Galliano. Certainly revolutionizing an industry as big as housing uh, requires a, a big new innovative solution. And you guys are, are definitely uh, leading the way there. So it's fantastic to see. Love that you're presenting from the factory today as well. That's great. Um, I know you've you've raised quite a bit already. Um, we've got roughly, I think, uh, 140 million from 40,000 investors across North America, which is crazy. And you're now uh, expanding your raise into Canada. So can you tell us a little bit more about what you're hoping to achieve with, uh, you know, bringing the raise fully across North America? Yeah, you know, the crowdfunding has been absolutely amazing for us. It's allowed us to kind of call all the shots on the business and run really quickly and, and ramp up and, you know, do all this uh, amazing stuff. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of interest coming from, from Canada. That was probably the second, you know, uh, biggest country after the United States where we were hearing inquiries from, and, you know, you guys aren't, not too far away, you know, the product's going to work great there, that all the principles will apply. And we do have plans to actually expand the company all around the world. Um, so we hopefully can set up these really big factories here in the US that we, you know, operate and manage ourselves. But then internationally, we were thinking we would bring on partners who are big manufacturers overseas, and they would basically take our, our business model and copy it as like a, a franchise or a license deal, and that that might be a way to expand all around the world. Because, you know, like I said before, there are huge housing issues everywhere. You know, there, there is uh, uh, always housing is, is too expensive. 
and there just needs to be a different way to build it because the current method uh, doesn't doesn't work it can't keep up with demands so you know hopefully uh, we can we can grow this thing around the world and and hopefully we can bring in uh, even more capital to, to scale up what we're doing quickly because the demand for this is is off the charts you know we have a wait list now with over 160,000 names on it just for wow. the Casita product. Uh, never mind the remainder of the building system that I described before, which I think is even bigger than Casita. Casita alone is like off the charts. No, absolutely. Well, we're uh, running up close on time here, but I want to get through a couple investor questions that we've had come through. So we had a question come through from Lance asking, are boxable homes hurricane rated? Yeah, actually, when we designed the product and selected the building materials, we wanted to engineer something that would work everywhere so that we have like a universal solution. Because right now, the way buildings are built, you're building differently for hurricane winds in Miami, Florida, than you're building in San Francisco for earthquakes. It's different building methods. Yeah. So that's not really a scalable solution. So we tried to dial it in to exceed all those requirements. And what we've come up with, uh, I think it really does that. So yeah, all the boxable casitas have hurricane speed wind ratings on on the walls um so you know way better than the house i live in now for example that's fantastic and seems like a great business strategy there for sure we've had uh, a couple other questions come through one is just since inception uh what are yearly sales if any yet um so we are doing right now about uh two houses per shift let's say like about uh, eight houses uh, per, per week. So uh, I think last year the revenue was, sorry, I'm trying to quickly search it here. Uh, no worries. There we go. I got it. So 2021, the revenue was 1.9 million. 2022, the revenue is 10.3 million. And then probably on track to do about 20 million this, uh, this year. Um, and then, you know, this factory here, we're actually... Uh, still in the first generation of everything. And we're just running with everything that we figured out before we even had a factory, had done anything for real. So the next step in this current building is we're actually upgrading all the equipment. We're putting in about $15 million worth of automated equipment. We're transitioning into a next generation of the product that is based off everything we've learned after doing it for real. So huge improvements coming across the board and that all those changes are going to be followed by a ramp up in production versus right now, we're just kind of running slowly and carefully to make sure everything's perfect. And, you know, we expect that we'll be able to do thousands of, of casitas out of this, this uh, current building that we're in now. That's fantastic. Well, uh, thank you so much for the, the pitch today, Galliano. Really appreciate you joining in from the, the facility there. It's fantastic. Um, we unfortunately didn't have a chance to get through all questions, so we'll follow up with those investors um, after the event as well. And for anyone who does have questions or is interested in investing, you can go check out Boxable's campaign page at frontfunder.com forward slash Boxable. So Galliano, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, as we look to, to wrap things up today, really just want to thank everyone for their time, um, appreciate the attendees tuning in and asking questions, as well as all of our great panelists today. So thank you so much, everyone. Um, for those wanting to, to learn a little bit more about Front Funder and what it is that we do, so Front Funder makes it easy for all Canadians to invest in Canada's most exciting startups and growth stage companies from as little as $250. You've seen several exciting startups and growth stage companies here today. So if you have any questions about getting started, uh, you know, visit frontfunder.com. You can always reach out to our support team uh, via email support at frontfunder.com. Give us a call or reach out to us via our chat. So really uh, thank you everyone for your time. Appreciate it. I know there are some questions that we didn't get through today. So I encourage you to reach out to the companies directly um, and or we'll, we'll follow up via email with some responses there. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon.